Hello and welcome to Taking Action for Detroit. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. And in this show, we're going to bring you stories of people making a difference throughout our community. Our first story is about a man who creates instruments that have a special tie to our city and the blues singer who captured that connection in a song. I started playing when I was in college, and after about a year, I wanted a different guitar than the one that I had. I couldn't afford to buy one, so I built one instead. For the past 40 years, Gary Zimnicki has been crafting musical instruments in a studio right in his garage. A few years ago, he had an idea inspired by the rebirth of Detroit. What if he could give new life to old wood? What if abandoned houses could make beautiful music? There was an article in the Free Press about this place called Reclaim Detroit that dismantles houses and sells all the materials. So I went to the warehouse, looked it over, bought a couple piles of wood from a house. With acoustic instruments, there's really no substitute for age. So that's got a little crack. These are pretty good pieces, really. The wood that's coming out of these houses in Detroit is a hundred or more years old, so it's aged way, way more than most of the wood that guitar builders would buy these days. Well, this is one of the guitars that I'm currently working on with reclaimed wood. The top, there's a seam right here, there's a seam in the middle, and then there's a seam here also. It's from a ceiling joist. It's Douglas fir. The back is maple floorboards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. Gary traced the wood he uses to a house in Detroit on Trumbull Street. Now he puts a replica of that very house on every one of his reclaimed guitars. I love putting that kind of stuff into the instrument because it just serves as a reminder of where it came from. Knowing that I'm taking wood that's been around for, for so long and reusing it for something that people can make beautiful music with. I mean, you just can't imagine what a sense of satisfaction that gives me. I don't play much myself, but I just love hearing other people play these instruments. Connecticut County, Alabama, 1925. Will Cunningham rode into town to get his week supplies. Now Will was a black man who'd fought in World War I, and he'd face smoke and powder, but he never chose to run. Gary's instruments are played by musicians all over the world, but one special reclaimed guitar rests in the hands of a Detroit original, blues singer, songwriter, and storyteller, Robert Jones. We gotta do grassroots stuff. To his Detroit congregation, he's Pastor Jones, but he's known across the country as the man that preaches the blues. Every time I go somewhere, someone's asking me, how's Detroit? Almost like it's a patient on life support. So to have a guitar that's built from a house that doesn't stand anymore, but the wood is already 100 years old, is just an amazing thing. And you can hear it in the tone, you can hear it in the volume and it's, it's wonderful. So now when I whip this guitar out, um, people see the beauty of the guitar, but it inspired me to write a song about the house and the guitar and being from Detroit. This old house was built on Trumbull Street back in 1910, when the whole world worked for Henry Ford. He was the poor man's friend. So the idea is, even when people write you off, as they have written off Detroit God knows how many times, if you regroup and understand that God can work with the pieces, then you will be reshaped into something that's even better than it was originally. So I met a builder named Zimnicki, a man of awesome skills. Arch tops, flat tops, ukuleles, ain't nothing he can't build. To me, that is the message. Don't give up and things eventually turn around. 
I don't know if that's the message for Detroit or if it's the message for the rest of the world about Detroit and about every other bad thing that's happening. You know, there, there's always a way to start over. Cause when you come from Detroit, you have to know, my friend, you cannot surrender and you dare not give in. And even when you're broken and you're almost at the end, know that if you save the pieces, you will sing again. Know that if you save the pieces, you will sing again. Wow, wasn't that wonderful? To learn more about Gary Zimnicki's work, go to zimnicki.com. And coming up next...